Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen to uh, my NBA 2K15 all-time franchise, all-time team tournament. Uh, this video is kind of the intro to the tournament. Um, I will uh, be going over uh, kind of the format and everything as well as we'll have a little preview at uh, each of the rosters and uh, some of the reasonings why some of the people are on each roster. So uh, without further ado, let me dive in. Um, so let's see, where do I start? Uh, it's going to be all all the teams, all uh, the their all-time best players. Some of them will be from the classic team. Some of them will be from right now. Uh, some of them will even be guys that are on different teams now. So just combining all of the team's best players that ever played for them onto uh, that team, basically. And uh, the format, um, basically after all the dust settled, I looked at their overalls and everything and ranked them, uh, you know, 1 to 30 on their rankings. And then I did a tournament bracket generator, which you can see the tournament bracket uh, I'll leave a link for it in the description. You can go check out where your team ranks. Um, so it'll be a single, single elimination, single game. Uh, two teams uh, have buys, and that is, I believe, the Lakers and who was the other team? Um, I'll, I'll remember once I see it. The Lakers had a bye, I know. Um, I can't remember the second team that had a bye. But, uh... It's probably like... Celtics or something like that. Some historic team with a lot of good players. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway... Um... That's kind of the format. That's how it's gonna go down. Um... I'll be showing the full game. I'm doing 10 minute quarters. Just so, uh... Just so the video isn't that long, uh, each game will probably be give or take an hour or so. Uh, total time, I'll I'll try and edit it down a little bit. Some of the you know uh, timeouts and stuff. If you guys don't want to see that, I can edit those out to cut down the time. Uh, let's see, am I missing anything else? No, I don't think so. All right, so let's dive into the teams. Uh, First, we got the 76ers, which is a good stack team. Uh, they get the best Dr. J, the Fro J. Uh, I gave them the oldest Wilt, because Wilt played for the Sixers uh, near the end of his career. So they get the old Wilt. He's still pretty good, but, um, you know, I think he deserved it for it. Got AI, Moses, uh, Tumbo. I put... Iggy on there, I think it's well deserving. I mean, he had his best years uh, with the Sixers. I think he deserved to be on that team. Um, some guys, like I mean, some of the guys I had to fill in. MK or uh, MC Dub uh, got in there. I mean, he was rookie of the year, so I think he deserved it anyway. Uh, some of the guys that you'll see on the teams near the bottom uh, won't actually even play, but I just needed guys to fill in. So, because uh, I put 15 players on each team, but two of the guys will be resting and not suiting up. So, some of the guys at the bottom, if you disagree, just understand they were just kind of fillers. Not exactly, uh, you know, handpicked for it. But uh, Thaddeus Young deserved to be on there. Uh, yeah, that's the that's Sixers. Uh, the Bucks, uh, they got the big O. Uh, they're pretty, uh, pretty solid. Got a lot of mediocre centers. Um, Mike Dunleavy Sr. Uh, yeah, some of these guys I added with. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh, it was the Bulls, duh. The Lakers and the Bulls have buys. Uh, <laughs> can't, don't know how I didn't remember that. But, uh, I gave them, uh, obviously the best Jordan. Uh, you know, Michael Jordan in his prime. So that should be interesting to see. I think I did the same for Scotty, yeah. Uh, and I get D-Rose, 
good weird haired Dennis Rodman. Uh, yeah, the uh, Bulls, they also have a little dang on there. Uh, they're going to be tough to beat. They are very well put together. <laughs> so I think they might actually be higher than the Lakers. It's hard to tell. Uh, Cavs, got to put LeBron on the Cavs, although tempting to put him on the Heat, but it's it's definitely the Cavs where he belongs. So they got that. Uh, Kyrie, a couple other guys, not a whole lot for the you can put on the Cavs. Um, and you'll see a lot of that. There are some teams that, since they don't have a historic team or they're a pretty new franchise, that they'll just have most of the players that they uh, actually have. But uh, the Celtics, very good Celtics team. Um, Paul Pierce, back with them, coming off the bench. Uh, yep. There's that. Uh, Clippers, this is one of the teams that <laughs> had like zero historic players, so this one was hard to put together. It's mostly just the current team. Um, you add in Ron Harper, I put Bill Walton on there. He had a couple ones he could have gone with, but I think uh, the Clippers needed him most. So uh, <laughs> Bill Walton on there. Uh, I brought Chris Kamen back, Elton Brand, Sean Livingston brought him back. Uh, Lamar Odom, I don't think he even plays. I think, yeah, he's one of the bottom guys. Uh, we'll see if he actually gets some minutes for him. Uh, the Grizzlies, uh, yeah, mostly uh, the regular team. Put Rudy on there. Also put Powell. I was tempted to put Powell on the Lakers, but the Lakers didn't need him, and Powell had a good majority of his career with the Grizzlies, as well as not a whole lot of people know. So I think uh, that'll be good for him there. Uh, O.J. Mayo brought him back. Uh, Greg Anthony, Miller the Killer. And then some of the guys I brought back. Uh, so to round out that. Hawks, they got, you know, Dominique and Pistol Pete. Uh, brought Joe Johnson back for him. Doc Rivers brought Josh Smith back. Uh, of course, Spud Webb, a couple other guys. Like I said, these guys are just bottom guys, really. Uh, Miami Heat, uh, pretty solid. I, I brought some guys over, uh, like Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning, I think, uh, just because the Heat really don't have much. And also these guys played uh, you know, a little part of their career with the Heat, so I thought it would make a little more sense. Uh, Chris Bosh, I was tempted to put him with the Raptors, but I think the Heat just make more sense because of, uh, you know, winning championships there. Um, Darrell Wright, I brought back. Michael Beasley, uh, <laughs> mostly just because he was drafted there, uh, not because he did a whole lot there. Um, and a couple other guys. Heat aren't very uh, historic. That's why I had to bring these guys over. Not a whole lot there. Uh, Hornets, uh, they got Larry Johnson, uh, Muggsy's there, Kendall Gill's there, Dell Curry's there, a couple of guys on the current team, um, yeah, a couple guys I added. Uh, the Jazz, they got the mailman with Stockton, also Millsap, um, Jeff Hornets had Gordon Hayward, Favors, I brought Boozer back. I thought that was definitely fitting, considering uh, all the success he had with the Jazz. I uh, thought that would make the most sense, bringing him back there. Uh, brought AK-47 back there. He had a good part of his career there. Um, Kings, this is uh, another team that uh, <laughs> struggled to bring some people in with. Isaiah I brought back. He obviously did with the Kings. Kevin Martin, I thought, you know... Looking over at his career, I think uh, the Kings make the most sense for his fitting. Um, Tyreek Evans, obviously, you know, rookie of the year, he's got to come back there. Uh, Spencer Haas, I didn't know he actually played a couple of years here, so he fits. Uh, Sam with Sessions, um, and a lot of insert guys, uh, Chuck Hayes. But uh, yeah, Kings are a difficult one. Knicks, um, they're pretty solid, but not too 
crazy good. Obviously you got Patrick, uh, Dubashire, you know, a lot of solid uh, old guys. Um, not a whole lot of current guys. Threw Phil Jackson on there. <laughs> he isn't going to play though. But yeah, it's basically all classic mix there. <laughs> uh, Lakers. Uh, yeah, kind of good. <laughs> With Magic, Shaq, and Wilt. Uh, and you got Jerry West as well as Elgin, Kobe, Worthy. This team is absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Lakers and Bulls in the finals. Um, by the way, I'm not doing it by uh, conferences. I'm just doing it by seeds, by who's the best and worst team. I, th I thought that'd be more fair. Um, yeah, Derek Fisher and Bynum at the bottom. Um, Magic, they get the big shack, and they also get Dwight Howard. Obviously, fitting Dwight Howard should not be with the Lakers or... Uh, or the Rockets, he definitely deserves to be with the Magic, so that's a very dynamic duo with Penny, uh, Anderson, Horace Grant, a uh, couple other guys who's in there, JJ Redick I brought back, um, yeah, uh, Mavericks, this was another tough team, it's basically bringing back their championship year team, is all I could really do, they have Dirk, Tyson, uh, brought back JJ, I brought back uh, Jason Terry, but uh, it's really hard to bring back guys. I mean, it's mostly just their regular team. So um, the Nets, they actually, I didn't know Dr. J played for uh, them. Um, so I gave him the old Dr. J. Uh, so that's, that should help him. Uh, Williams, Lopez, Plumlee, Sam Cassell, it was tough. Didn't know where to put him, but I thought that would be a good fit. Uh, Reggie Evans, obviously, um, far more played there a bit, so I'll put him there. Um, Kenyon Martin, I put him back there. He had a good majority of his career there. Uh, a couple other guys. Uh, Nuggets. I was torn between Knicks and Nuggets for Carmelo, but I thought he definitely deserved uh, the Knicks for what he did there. Uh, with uh, Mutombo, Ty Lawson, uh, Abdul, um, kind of Fareed, some other guys uh, from the classic team get to go in there. Uh, Nate Robinson, I wasn't quite sure where to put him, but so I just kind of left him there with uh, with the Nuggets, the Birdman, uh, back to the Nugs. Um, so yeah, very interesting team. Uh, Pacers, another pretty current team. Uh, Lance, obviously, brought back. Danny Granger brought back. Josh McRoberts actually played with them for quite a bit, so I brought him there. Uh, good old Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, that's about it for them. Uh, Pelicans, obviously, the Brow. Uh, David West I brought back. He had some good years with uh, Chris Paul, which I forgot to mention. I was tempted to bring him back to New Orleans, but considering the Clippers had no one and uh, the things he's done there. I thought it's okay for him to stay there. Drew Holiday, I was also tempted for the Sixers, but kind of same thing. Didn't really need him. Uh, had Darren Carlson, Eric Gordon, obviously. A lot of these guys are tempted to go back, but I kept them uh, with this squad. Um, just a couple other guys in there. And that's the thing, like I can't put everyone that deserves to go on their team there just because I have to fill out all the teams and um, there, are, there are like three guys here that could easily make another team but uh, just for the simple fact that this team kind of needs them because <laughs> they wouldn't have anyone else uh, is why. Pistons obviously it's a lot of the bad boys uh, in here. Rodman, um, Lambeer, uh, brought Tayshaun back. Stucky back, Phillips, um, a lot of classic guys there from their good good old days. Uh, Raptors, uh, a lot of current team. Brought Jose Calderon back. Also brought Vince Carter back. That was obviously well deserved there that he uh, <laughs> comes back. Um, like I said, a lot of the current team brought back Barniani, Alan Anderson. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot there, but brought a couple back. Uh, Rockets, 
I have a lot of the uh, classic team in there. Hakeem, Harden, I was torn between Thunder and Rockets, but I think just because the last two years he's had with the Rockets, he deserves to be with the Rockets. Um, Parsons obviously brought back. Um, Scola, he had a great part of his career with uh, the Rockets, so I think he deserves to be there. Um, some other guys. Uh, the Spurs. It is basically their current team plus David Robinson. Uh, they are just so good, so successful. I didn't really have to add too much. I added a couple guys from the classic Spurs team, um, but really it's just their normal team because they're so good. I believe they're still like a three or four seed just with this team. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, Suns. There are a lot of good guys that are still in the league that were really good with the Suns. Uh, as you'll see, Blitz always tempted to go to the Clippers, but I think he deserves to be with Suns. Um, guys like Sean Marion had a great time there. Stoudemire was dominant there. Steve Nash was dominant there. And these guys are all bench guys now, but if these guys uh, were in their prime, that'd be a huge big three there. Um, yeah, just a couple guys adding. Uh, back to the team, Thunder slash uh, Sonics is uh, obviously very good. Uh, this this is going to be another, I think, very talented team uh, with the additions of Kemp and Payton. Uh, Ray Allen, obviously, I think, when you think of Ray Allen, you think of Sonics more than, more than anything. So I think uh, he deserves to be there uh, with that team. It was tough. It was tough to decide, though. He was very good with a couple other teams, but I think Sonics uh, is for the main part of him. Um, Cephalosha and Richard Lewis down there, but he was re really good with Sonics, actually. K Love brought back. KG brought back Wiggins. You can already tell he's going to be really good, so I just put him on the team. Um, Levine's going to be pretty solid. It's more a normal team. Um, Clyde the Glide. Uh, this is not too bad of a team. I had a couple legends. Mostly just a normal team, though. And this is going to be a very good shooting team. <laughs> I mean, you look at his top four players for this team. Steph Curry, Mullen, Richmond. Thompson, those are sharp shooters. Um, so if they can make a lot of threes, I think uh, Gold State can be uh, very good. But uh, yeah, not too bad there. Wizards, <laughs> I gave them Michael Jordan. I gave them the oldest Michael Jordan, which is still a 99 because it's a Michael Jordan. So Wizards get a lot of help. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking I would kind of nerf it a little bit, but. It's Michael Jordan, so <laughs> I'll keep it like that. Brought Nick Young back, uh, Karan Butler, Blotch, Javel McGee, brought him back. Pretty pretty good there. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all the teams. Uh, let me know below who you think is going to win. And uh, I'll be starting up here soon. Uh, I hope you enjoy. And uh, until next time. Time guys, I'll uh, see you later.